What is happening, everybody? This is the Big Jew, and welcome back to Final Fantasy IV: The After Years. Okay, so we're about to we're about to finish up Kane's tale here. Let's go ahead and visit the town of Baron first, and uh, check out what's going on around here. There's Rose's mom. Yep. And her her only concern is Theodore. You know, not not her own daughter or or Kane or 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 anyone like that. No, absolutely not. And yeah, different from our first visit here. We can actually get the treasures here now. So let's do that. Get myself some ice armor. Very good. And an X potion. Fantastic. Alright. But, alright. Let's see what we can do with this. I'll give the ice armor to Theodore. He's pretty He's pretty good. Yeah. Hey, you know what? No, actually, you know what? I have a better idea. Check this out. Uh, and, aha! There we go. Beautiful. Give him a... Uh, Give them, give them both dual uh, 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 element protection there. Yeah, and yeah, Kane's gonna be uh, pretty lame because he's only level 16, but it's fine. I don't think the uh, final boss of this chapter is really that uh, difficult, anyways. So let's go ahead and finally show down with Cecil. Let's do this. They have the original Baron music for some reason. That's weird. Whatever. Alright, Cecil. Yeah, and this is a uh, part of the... This this scene actually takes place in the final chapter, too. But I'm just... This is kind of just a... In my opinion, this is really a... Uh, teaser for the final chapter. See? Told you so. Haha. -ha. Yeah, but what I'm also gonna what I'm also going to do is show off the challenge dungeon. But yeah, that's the end of the chapter there. Sweet. Would I like to save? Yeah, may as well. I do have a save file where I have everything. So I'm just gonna go with that one. Yeah. Uh I would grind up Kane um just alone in the uh, fields next to Baron. It's a pretty good place to do it because you can you can get access to a white chocobo there too, and since he can heal himself, it'll be even easier to level him up. So yeah, but I already have a save file where I did that, so I'm gonna go ahead and upload that. And I also went through the challenge dungeon a couple times, so I got some decent stuff here. Well, yeah, yeah you can get diamond armor from it, which is nice. You can also get uh, angel arrows, but that's that's just in the uh, that's inside the dungeon itself. Um, you can get an ogre killer from the uh, final chest, which is nice. So yeah, I gave a bonus to Sid there because he doesn't need any, he doesn't have any magic defense. So what was what does it mean? What what is it? What difference does it make? You know? Uh, yeah. And by the way, I totally forgot to show this off. But I'm going to show it off now. Check this out. You can buy spider silk. Yeah, that's fantastic. Let me go ahead and get a few of these here. I'm not going to completely max out on them, but whatever. There, there's a better, there's a better showing of it since my camera decided not, not to focus. Okay, so let's go ahead and head into the challenge dungeon. Why not? I suggest your, that all of your players be at least level 35 before uh, going into this. Uh, Theodore can max out at 50. Um, but yeah, he learns, uh, I think he learns Kiraga at level 48 or something like that. But yeah, when you get him to level 45 or so, he learns Blink, Haste, uh, Reflect and Protect, which is really good. So yeah. By level 45, he'll have all of those learned. Uh, yeah, and you definitely want, you know, Blink for all three of your players there. Even Kane has it, which is nice. Because the enemies in this challenge dungeon, they can hurt you physically really, really badly. So, yeah. If you don't have at least two uses for Blink, it may not end well for you. So, yeah. Alright. Let's do this. This first floor, yeah, this first floor is going to contain enemies uh, from the tower, from the Babel Tower, like uh, like uh, Coerls and Mia and stuff like that. And 
Ghost Knights, too. Lame. There we go. I'm just gonna run away from everybody. Um, I would use Kane's Jump uh, as a really good offensive technique there. And yeah, you can get some treasures. Yeah. That treasure always refills. Yeah, that doesn't lead anywhere, I don't think. Yeah. Get a light curtain. Beautiful. It can contain items as poor as potions or as or as good as light curtains. So, yeah. Nicely done, yeah. Angel arrows are beautiful. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, if you're above level 35 ma uh, average, they'll be fine. And like I said, you definitely want Seodor to be at a higher level. That's how you get that chest there. It contains a Protect Staff, I believe. Which is alright, but not that great, in my opinion. Let's go ahead and take out these uh, sorcerers here. Don't forget you can use the Sleep, the, uh, sleep Blade and uh, put everybody to sleep. Put everybody to sleep. There you go. Everybody in the club getting sleep, eh? Alright, enough. Wow, that was terrible. Oh my god, did I actually just say that? I need to be shot for that. And he didn't learn Kirago? What the hell? No, I, I, okay, so I guess Theodore learns Kir, uh, Kiraga at level four, at probably 50. Yeah. Get some good items here. Uh, you can get, I think, a Soma Drop in one of these bookcases slash pots. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Make sure you can one-shot the corals because they can do a blaster on you as a counter attack, and they can that can do an instant that can do instant death. So you don't want that. You don't. You really don't. I don't want to go down there quite yet, but that does lead to the boss. So upstairs, that's where you can get the angel arrows that I got for Rosa. Yeah. I actually think the ogre killer is over there. Yeah. There's another passage. There's another passage that leads to it. Which I can go I, I can do that in a second run through. Yeah. So once you go down here, you're never gonna be you can't go back unless you just teleport out. So yeah. Enemies here, even at max level with all your players, are disgustingly hard. I would just run from all of them. Yeah, look, three blood eyes. Are you kidding me? Get out of here. Get out of here with that crap. There's no way I'm going to be going through that. Oh, yeah, but you can get the diamond armor from the chests here, I think. Uh, also, I think you can get some other stuff. I think you can get a, either a diamond armlet or a rune armlet, if I'm not mistaken. And wait for this thing to focus here. What the hell? There we go. We got Belphegors. Holy crap. As regular enemies now. Huh. Belphegors, and they're not bosses? What the hell? What's this world coming to? Yeah, we got Marlboros. Yeah, so if you don't have rune armlets or uh, ruby rings equipped on your players, strongly suggest you do that for the Marlboros, because the Marlboros will annihilate you and kill you. We got to fight Fell Knights. Yeah, to hell with all that. To hell with all that. Our players are not that strong. They are not strong enough. That will lead to the exit. That that one door right there. So let's see. What what moon is it? Waxing. Uh, okay, for the boss, you want it to either be on a waxing moon or a new moon. So I'm gonna I'm gonna set it to new moon as well. Yeah. I want him to recover, rest up, anyways. So whatever. Which means yes, we have to use three friggin' tents in a row. Let me use the select uh, the select trick. Nice. Select trick and punch out. No, not quite. No. Will I be doing some more of punch out because I? Haven't done a video for that in nearly two years. I might. I might not. I don't know. Kind of lost my edge with that game. And yeah, even if you have... Oh yeah, I'll save it for that. Yeah. 
even if you have good stats and good levels, save your damn game. If you don't, then, uh, you know, and if you don't need to die against the boss, well, what can I say? <laughs> Alright, time to fight the boss. Curse Dragon. I think he can do a thing where he can uh, counter attack. What I want to do is I want to uh, have Kane jump. Have Rosa do Kiraga. Uh, I think he'll do an attack, a counter which does instant, which does instant death. Or he'll just counter as a regular attack. All right. Oh, okay, Fira, he'll do. Eh. Big deal. What you want to do though, if especially if your levels are low, go ahead and hit him with a spider silk because it casts uh, slow on him twice, which is beautiful. Yeah, he'll do curse, and he'll without curse uh, one of your players, which makes him more, uh, which reduces their attack and defense. So that is uh, pretty nasty. If you keep your hit points above a thousand, you'll be fine. Strongly suggest hasting up Kane, definitely. Uh, Sid, just have him on standby so he can do a. Uh, so we can give potions to whoever needs to be healed really quickly, or to administer Phoenix Sound, or to get hit with an instant death attack. I think he's going to start doing instant death, death attacks when he transforms, so yeah. And that's when he starts to counter with them, so. It's pretty lame. Nicely done. I will not be destroyed. I am invincible! Yeah, whatever, Boris. Yeah, so now it's time for the real boss fight against the Cursed Dragon. He's weak to Holy, so that's why I say have Kane jump and have him... Give him the Dragoon Lance. Yeah, there you go. Awesome attack power. Yeah, Black Fang. That's going to kill. That's an instant death. Lame. Weak sauce. So pretty much just that, that's how you coordinate the fight. You have Kane use jump. And then, you get hit with Faraga, and hopefully that'll hit the whole party, which won't do nearly as much damage, but it still killed Rosa. That's, that's lame. I see, now we're in trouble, because all we have is Kane and Theodore. So if you need to take a break from attacking him, take a break from attacking him and just don't do anything for a while. If you need to use X potions, do it. Do you need everyone alive when this fight, I mean, during this fight? No. Is it a good idea? Yeah, because you want Cure, you want, you know, Rosa with Cure, Aga, and everyone, everything like that, so, yeah. Do you need to have, like, ridiculously high hit points? Not really, just enough to survive for Aga, which everyone can survive that one, so that's cool. Everyone except Sid? No. Just everybody in general. Sweet. Yeah, you want Sid to get hit with, hit with the um, Black Fang. Yeah, there you go. Sweet. This way you can just have Seedor raise him and then have Rosa use Kiraga on everybody. Yeah, no, that's alright. Crap. I wanted Kane to get some of that Kiraga, but whatever. It's cool. We'll have Seedor uh, use Kiraga on him. Crap. Oh, lame. That is not cool. That is, that is very weak. If he's down there, very good. Uh, let's see, what do I want to do here? Oh, crap. Oh, man, that's going to do a ton of damage. Ooh, yeah, that's insane. I totally forgot he does that. Yeah, he'll do Dark Breath, which does disgusting amounts of damage on your players. Okay, hit Sid, thank God. Let's go ahead and X potion on a uh, Rosa there. Alright, we're gonna have Rose on standby actually, see who he uh, takes out with the uh, Black Fang. 
Nobody, apparently, since we killed him. Without Sid in the party, that's alright. I'm not going to use Sid at all, at all. Ever. He's way too damn slow. Hint, <laughs> 1666. Six, six. <laughs> Well, you get like 1,500 if you have all four of your players, obviously. Alright, so that's how you beat the, uh... That's how you beat the boss of this dungeon, and... Ooh, you get diamond gloves. Sweet! I think I already have the adamantite, so, yeah. Let's see, do I? I do. Alright, yeah, cool. So, there you go. That's pretty much how, uh... That's pretty much how... Theodore's challenge... Uh, Kane's challenge dungeon is. Uh... So there you go. Awesome. That's how to do it. Uh, I might go through the other route um, in the next episode and then go on to uh, the Lunarian's Tale uh, or the Lunarian's Chapter. Uh, yeah, because the final scene of Edge's Chapter, uh, t it, it directly segues into uh, the final chapter, the beginning scene of the final chapter. So I'm going to save the end of Edge's Chapter for later. And what we'll do in the next episode is... Go the other route with uh, see, with the challenge dungeon here, and then start the Lunarian's chapter. This is the big Jew telling you to keep being awesome. Peace.